Hello VC, I'm back again with a vinyl and CD update. I didn't get a chance to go out digging this week, so this stuff's going to be off eBay, Amazon and the online store that I use. So um, one CD and uh, about five um, vinyl records to show you. So I'm going to start with the CD, and it's maybe a CD you might think I already own, but it's quite a hard CD to come by. And I've seen this on eBay for £30 before, so people do want sometimes a lot of money for it. And it's a Multi Cruise First Greatest Hits compilation, Decade of Decadence, 81 to 91. Um, nothing special about this CD. I do have all these songs um, in different forms and different CDs, but uh, when it comes to Multi Crew, uh, you know I'm a big fan, so. I'm glad to get this in the collection at last. So, uh, Multi Crew, Decade of Decadence from 1991. Uh, next up is going to be from Amazon. And this was recommended to me um, on Amazon. And I jumped on it. It was uh, brand new. It's vinyl. And it was 9 .99. And it came up with limited edition cover. So, and it's a band that I love and it's Sabaton. Now I know people out there, not everyone's taste, but I love this band and this is definitely one of their best albums. This was released in 2012 and it's the last album they made with all original members. So after this album, um, the band kind of split. The vocalist and uh, bass player stayed as Sabaton and the rest of the band went off and did a new project called Civil War, which you might have heard of as well. Same kind of kind of thing. So I think there was an argument over um, rights to the music or um, shares and money. So, um, but definitely an amazing uh, pick up for a tenor. Um, what I didn't realise is I've actually got the CD, so you can see here what the the original cover looks like, which I actually prefer. But uh, this came up so cheap, I thought I would grab it. But what I didn't realise is when I got it and opened it, it's the Swedish version. So as you can see, all the titles are in Swedish and all the lyrics are done in Swedish. So obviously in all the, the CDs that I have, um, the lyrics are in English. I don't speak Swedish, but I still really enjoyed this and it sounded phenomenal as well. So really happy to pick this up, although I was surprised. Um, still a great pick up for a tenor, so that is Sabaton and Carolus Rex. Uh, next up I have an album from Lizzie Borden. This is from 1985 and it's Love You To Pieces. Uh, absolutely love uh, this era of Lizzie Borden. I'm not too familiar with their later stuff, but the 80s stuff is just amazing, and this is an awesome album. Uh, just straight up um, heavy metal, a bit of power metal, a uh, bit kind of like quite fast, uh, relentless, and just an out and out awesome album. Um, on Roadrunner, uh, inside you do get the inner sleeve with full set of lyrics and photos of the band and you can see there Lizzie Borden licking an axe uh, very heavy metal so really happy to pick that one up and I'm definitely looking for more Lizzie Borden on CD and vinyl so uh, next up I have uh, Ingvi Malmsteen and Rising Force and his I think it's his fourth album uh, Odyssey I think this is from 1989 Sorry, 1988, and uh, I mean, I, I just, I just love the the technicality of his playing. I mean, some people don't like that, but I really like it. Um, especially when you go from um, an early thrash album to then jumping onto this, uh, just amazing. And uh, with this, you get the original inner with lyrics and band photo there. Now, 
this guy just looks so worried. Um, you wouldn't think he was in like a rock band. You'd think he was on death row or something. But um, yeah, and again, looking to pick up more Ingrid Malmsteen as well. So uh, really happy to pick that up. So there we go. Uh, now, the next few are from the online store that I use, and I think I picked these, there's three of them, and I picked them up for about a fiver. Uh, two I'd never heard of, and the first one I'd never heard of is by a band called Tattoo, and the album is called Blood Red. And um, I basically was going through the metal section, as I usually do, on this online store and I saw this. I'd never heard of the band, never heard the album. So I basically jumped onto YouTube and listened to this full album. And it's pretty awesome. Um just there's there's no um there's no ballads on it, it's just full blast um hard rock. So really really enjoyed it and I thought for a fiver um, amazing there's nobody in this band that I recognize I think this might be uh, a one and done it's from 1988 and it's on Metal Boyd um, just comes in this standard sleeve but yeah if you're into this kind of stuff check it out Tattoo Blood Red the full albums on YouTube so check it out really good and the other one I hadn't heard of um, is a band called Trash Broadway um, I was actually quite confused I didn't know if the band was called Trash and the album was called Broadway or they were just called Trash Broadway but the band is called Trash Broadway it's a self-titled debut I think it's their only release um, this is from 1989 I think, but again, this is um, this is more along the lines of your late 80s hard rock hair metal kind of style with a bit of a uh, blues influence as well. Not on all songs, but um, on some songs you do get that kind of blues um, influence coming through. Um, this was actually in the shrink when I got it. It is now out of the shrink because I don't keep records in the shrink that, but. Um, band logo on one side and lyrics on the other. Um, again, I would recommend checking this band out as well. I'm having really trouble with these sleeves today. Um, kind of along the same lines as Tattoo Blood Red. Um, so yeah, check that out. Trash Broadway. And this is another LP that was in the shrink, which is now off. And I think I've seen Rob Blackstar Vinyl show this. And it's Concrete Jungle, Wear and Tear. Um, now, it's funny, this has kind of passed by me a few times because this has been on the vinyl store for a while. And the thing is, it never had a picture with it. Sometimes when you don't get a picture with the the thumbnail you just get a vinyl disc and it's only when I really looked at the title that I realised it was an album that Rob had showed before and me and Rob have said before have similar tastes in music so again jumped onto YouTube listened to it thought it was great right up my street and picked it up I think this was £5.50 um, still in the shrink and it's in great condition um, it does only come on standard paper sleeve and you get this kind of cheap papery lyric sheet so that is it that is my pickups for this week I might get out tomorrow uh, but I might not but I do have some things in the pipeline that should be coming through soon so um, I'll also have some more videos popping up next week as well so 
look out for them. Let me know what you think of my pickups and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.